Hey, you guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great Thursday. This is a, we're going to go over a newly released video of a body cam from the day that Mackenzie Edwards went into the home that her and Ryan Edwards shared along with their children and the moment that she discovered that Ryan had demolished their home. Um, this comes with a trigger warning, you guys. She will be crying in this video. She will be talking about his drug use and the effects that it had on their family. So we're going to roll the intro, but just know that it comes with a trigger warning. Let's roll the intro and then we will get into it. Hey, you guys. Okay, so um, anyone that is watching on replay, um, there will be timestamps in the description box below just so you guys um, can bypass the trigger warnings and any discussion that we have kind of beforehand. So we know that the body cam footage was released that showed the cops entering the home, the cops taking photos of the home, but and also uh, body cam footage was released of um, when they went to Ryan's job and arrested Ryan. But now we are actually getting footage thanks to the sun. And the sun um, is the outlet that I think that has obtained all of this. They were the ones that filed the FOIA to get the body cam from Ryan's arrest and the home. So you guys this is truly heartbreaking and I don't care what Mackenzie has been through. Like, I don't care if you guys think that Mackenzie was with Ryan for money or whatever you guys think that she was with him for to hear the sadness in her voice, to hear her crying, to hear her talk about her children, how they just want to come home and now they can't come home. It is truly devastating. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's watch this video. I did add closed captionings just to try to make it easier for us to know what, what, the, what she is saying. But this is the moment that she and the cops, you know, are in her house. She has seen her house for the first time since it's been damaged. All right, let's, let's, okay. This got to be too bad. January 1st, on New Year's Day. But we've had issues for a long time. I had severe substance abuse issues that I found out about the day after we got married six years ago. Uh -huh. yeah, all of that was on national television and everything. And so I stayed and tried to help. You know, I was 20. And uh, it just got to be too much. I've done the jail thing. We've done the rehab thing several times. I had our kids alone. He was in rehab. And, um, you know. <laughs> Um, she said in here that she found out like the day after their wedding. I really think what she's saying here is she she found out more of the extent. I think she absolutely knew because the day that they got married, when he was nodding off, she turned the cameras off and she said, did you take Xanax? I think that he probably was lying to her about the extent like, oh, I'm just taking Xanax to help me with my anxiety from being on TV. I'm anxious with the cameras, so I take something to help me. Maybe something along those lines. I don't think she really knew the extent that he was on. He was on H. He was on H when they got married. It, it, so that's what I think she's talking about. That like she really found out the extent of it after they got married. <laughs> Did he know that you were going to file? <laughs> I told him. No, I did a divorce on maybe I have a second insane in the month of January. So he knows for a minute. And then they came out because he just got crazy and violent and he's never been that way before, ever. How much did the kids see? They saw the whole thing. Are they all right? 
I mean, I guess as much as a four to three year old can be, they just want to come home and now they can. Do you have a place you guys can stay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, really quickly also, um, so when we did the video the other day of the arrest, I got a lot of comments from people saying that female officer seems mad, she seems out of line. Why is that female officer treating Ryan this way? The the body cam that we're watching right now is from the female officer. So as you guys can see, the man officer, the guy, he said, how much of this did the kids see? And she said they saw everything. And he said, are they okay? So I think the reason, because right after they left from the house, was when they went to Ryan's work. They went to his parents' house. He was not there. And then they went to his work. And that's where they arrested him. And that's why I think these two officers were the way they were. That they were so mad and they were so irritated. Because I got a lot of comments saying, oh, that female officer was out of line. Like, she wasn't professional. And maybe she was a little too harsh on Ryan. But look what she just witnessed, you know? I'm so sorry. No, what are you sorry for, Mackenzie? You remember what I told you last time we were out here, right? We're we're here to help. I and then this is this is not a situation anybody should have to be dealing with what they're going through. If you were to make just wild guess, where would you think he would go? Maybe his parents. Okay, where is that at? We're gonna go down to the to uh box Yes, sir. Um, one suggestion I would I would make is get that uh, that one rifle that's in there. Secure that in your car. Another what? Yes, sir. Is this gonna be the rifle? No, that's the uh, air Okay, so yes, there were weapons laying around the house. Um, also, let me see if I sent this to myself. There were things written all over the house. Um, he left the house in a total, total disaster. And I saw someone say a while ago, well, why can't the kids come home? Just clean it and bring the kids home. This is beyond her being able to clean this in a day or two. It is completely damaged. The refrigerator has been thrown over and laying on top of the kitchen counter probably busted half the kitchen counter the refrigerator is clearly busted i mean there's huge holes all on the wall all the mirrors are painted with words like slut or this is beyond her going in there with a few of her friends and cleaning up these kids cannot go to that house so i, I you you probably didn't see like the it's the extent of of how the house is but the thing is, is it's not up to her to, to, to fix it or clean it. It's going to cost money. It's going to cost hiring some help because McKenzie is not strong enough to pick up these things or, or move these things. I mean, there's sofas going down the stairs. You know, I mean, the, the, the bed has the word slut written across it. This is more than just her going in there picking this, this house back up. I mean, we'll watch it again. Microwave, refrigerator, everything is damaged. So there, the kids cannot go to this house. It will be a while before this can get picked up and cleaned. Um, well, actually, do you guys want to watch the video of the house again, just to kind of go over how the house looks? Yes, I will find out who owns the home. Okay. Let's look at the house again. And here's the thing. This, what we see in the body cam isn't hold on, even the full extent of it. I mean, it's worse than even what we can see on here. Okay. You see the refrigerator? 
behind me, right, right here. That is the refrigerator pushed out of its little hole onto the kitchen cabinet. Like holes everywhere underneath the microwave over there underneath the microwave something has been spray painted underneath it more than likely something about her being a slut or whatever something like that you know what i'm saying um all right let's continue Okay, also what we can't see, you guys see where it says told me something, something, something? How there's two small white things over there. There's also huge paragraphs written on the wall that we can't see, but I do have a screenshot of it. And we'll look at that in just a little bit. Okay, so that's somewhat the damage that you could see. I mean, all the doors have something spray painted on them. So I just want to say there is no way these kids can go in there. There is no way that Mackenzie's going to go in there. She works a job too, and now she's having to take off from her job to to, to go deal with the stuff to do with Ryan. So there's no, it's not up to her to go clean that house. If anything, Ryan should have to pay. For someone to come in there and clean it and fix the damage definitely she that is not up to her and those kids that was their house that is the only house that stella and jagger has ever known that was their home they brought those kids home from the hospital to those houses so i can imagine i can imagine that i know how my kids we if we go to my mom's house for an hour they're like i'm ready to go home and now these kids cannot go to their house because he damaged it beyond repair so here's the thing ryan was doing court today i'm going to do a separate video after this to talk about what went down at court this video is strictly about this topic but you're going to want to be there for that video because i think it's from what i'm hearing mckenzie was there his parents were there in an attempt to try to bond him out from my understanding and the judge basically got down on his level and the judge was like i've known you you're a great kid You've been a great kid. You're talented. Blah, 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 blah. So we're going to go over what happened in court today, everything the judge told him, which made it completely obvious that the judge does know him on a personal base, personal level. But in this video, I just kind of want to speak out on this situation. Give me just a second. Let me find my notes. I lost them. I'm so sorry. And we will watch the video of him being arrested again really quickly, too, if you guys want to. Okay, so. Um, so Ryan Edwards left chilling threats to his estranged wife, Mackenzie, scrawled on the walls of their Tennessee home after his terrifying rampage. Police arrested him after what they saw. Police arrested him just after they saw the devastating damage, damage done to the home that he shared with his wife, Mackenzie, 
and their two children, Jagger and Stella. We're going to look closer at some of these pictures. Ryan was arrested on February 10th at his job for harassment, possession of drug paraphernalia, possession of controlled substance, and um, violating a protective order. Photos of the damaged Photos of the damaged home were obtained by the son. They revealed the terrifying messages that Ryan allegedly left for his estranged wife. On the wall leading to the downstairs of the home Mackenzie purchased in 2019 were multiple long paragraphs with chilling messages to Mackenzie. One message from police photos read, You slutting around is why this house felt cold and alone. I just could not stand you. Another one read, you did this to yourself. I don't care. Lie to everyone else, but you know the truth. Don't get an OnlyFans. I know you. You had to know you would get caught. Another message read, true true is what? Effing true. God, you're so effing fake. You did this to yourself. Another message said, God, why do you have to be... God, why do you have to be so sexy but such a slut? Being a slut is okay when you're not breaking two kids' heart. Pick the Bible up. I go to church with you, but I don't ever want to see you. By the way, your family raised you better. Like I said, people change. Me, I've always been the same. Another, another message on the wall said, I was as real as you will ever get. You made two kids suffer. Another message said, you know, I'll always love you. You know, I would have always protected you. Another message on the wall says, I was the good one. Damn, you alone did this. F you, damn near you had me thinking it was me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to share the picture, some of the pictures of what I'm looking at as I go over these. Sorry. All right, so here is a lot of the writing on the wall. Um, literally, it's kind of wild. All right. He also wrote derogatory words in blue spray paint in the bedroom. He worked. He wrote the word slut um on their headboard there were also paragraphs written in marker in the bedroom and basement but the writing was ineligible you could not tell what he was even trying to say ryan allegedly spray painted the dining room table with the words you had you had some you weak there's another black mark on the fridge um there was also black mark on the fridge where he wrote the words u b i t c h body cam footage exclusively obtained by the sun showed the destruction police found in the in the vacant home including broken windows and furniture the police report described the damage to the home was initially sorry let me no, not gonna read that one in the footage mckenzie had officers enter the home through the back as the front door was blocked by a flipped over couch literally you couldn't even get in through the front door because there was a couch over in the front door as well as the stairway going down to the basement when police entered the back of the house into the kitchen and the dining room the refrigerator was turned over with everything inside spilled out onto the floor. Most of the kitchen cabinets were either broken or items are open with the items inside thrown out on the floor in Kitchen Island. There was even a rifle out of its safe sitting on the kitchen counter. Police asked McKenzie to secure the wedding, the, the weapon. Um, children's toys were broken sitting on the kitchen island and there was graffiti on the cabinets, microwave and windows. Um, in the dining room and living room, the table was flipped over. Graffiti was written all over the walls, as well as paint splattered on the walls and floors. Um, Mackenzie led officers to her bedroom, where there were holes all throughout the walls and the hallway. Mackenzie, Mackenzie cried as she looked into Jagger and Stella's bedroom. that had toys strewn about everywhere. Um, one officer told the other cops who walked into the bedroom behind him, watch your step. There are some feces in here. Clothes were thrown all over the bedroom and dressers. Uh, clothes were thrown all over the bedroom and the dresser cabinets and the mirrors were all broken. Cops had to work together to move a couch to make their way down the stairs. The basement had severe damage as well as broken cabinets, destroyed toys, 
and more. Um, Ryan did not destroy his property, like um, his tools and his mower and things like that. There were plates thrown all over the place. It was broken. There was a letter on the wall with a knife stuck through it, holding the letter to the wall. Okay, so this is from my understanding of what I understand of the situation. Mackenzie was not there when this happened. I think what she was saying when the cops said, like, how much of it did they see? I think she was saying, because she said he turned crazy and violent. You know, the cops like, well, how much did they see? She's like, they saw everything. Um, I don't think anybody was there when this happened outside of Ryan. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't, the fact that he could do this by himself would be, I mean, it would take him all night to do this by himself if he did this alone, um, which is possible. He possibly did do it by himself, uh, but she wasn't there. I don't think the kids were there, um, but I believe what she's saying that the kids saw all of it was they saw the fighting between them. They saw him getting violent with her. They saw, you know, him throwing nicotine in her face or when she would try to leave him try to stop her and take the keys or take her phone and all of these things. I think that's what she's saying from my understanding. Um, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think they were there. Discovering the truth says, in my opinion, Ryan is just a big grown spoiled brat. And if he don't get his way, he throws temper tantrums because his parents are always fixing or bailing him out of trouble. He is pampered. Exactly. What drugs is he currently on? Okay, so when he was arrested, they found what was suspected to be Coke, as well as um, a blue powder. Now, here's the thing. Um, when in all the reports that it talked about this blue powder, they talked about it being possibly fentanyl or heroin. And a lot of people say, like, oh, heroin's not blue. But in 2022, two people were busted in Nashville distributing blue heroin. So I don't know if it's like a common thing, but it's out there. Um, thank you so much, Lulu Jack, for the super chat. I really do appreciate you because no doubt this video will be limited ads. So I really do appreciate that. Um, yes, yeah, so he was arrested that day. Okay, let's actually, we're gonna watch the um, arrest video. Let's watch uh, both of the arrest videos. It, now, this is right after the cop. The cops were at his house, saw the damage, went to his parents' house because they thought he was there. He wasn't there, and they went to his job. And he's like, I didn't do it. Immediately, he says, I didn't do it. So he knew. He knew. He tried to act like he didn't, but he knew. All right, let's see. All right, three in place under arrest. For what? I want to know if you get it we well, have a warrant, so how about that? Yeah. Is that better for you? The officer that said I could move my stuff out. He told you you could do that with a police yeah. escort with 45 minutes. That's written on there. She wasn't he there. also told you that you needed to turn yourself in on this warrant. Yes, that was yesterday. Right. So, we're not going to ask you any questions right now, but just so that you're all aware of what's going on. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. 
You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you. You have the right to have that attorney present at any time during questioning. And you have the right to refuse to answer any of our questions. Somebody else is going to have to do that for you. Ma'am, I have the keys to it. Wherever it is, if you want to secure it right now, I don't know where it's at. I'm going to trade you the car park. You didn't think I was. What am I talking about? I didn't know that. I saw what the hell was going through. So, who did that then? If it wasn't you? The person that is with me, I guess. How did you see it? When I was there, I stayed at my house and my parents' house. I know his father was a doctor. I know what he does. He drove off my house first. I was absolutely on the dad's house. And I was at that point. That's what I saw. What morning? Thursday morning. Okay, she, she was at the house yesterday and it wasn't like that. Yes, sir. So, I have my camera, game camera, with an SD card. I also violated the order by calling her dad. Sir, I'm going to be there tonight. Are you serious? Yes. Send her a call. I don't understand that. But you should have asked questions yesterday when it was served. Why would I destroy my own stuff? That's a good question. I've been wondering the same thing. Do you not think she's lying? She has an order of protection against me. She called you guys three times, came to the house. Three times, I've not done anything to you. Okay, look, I'm not the judge, jury, and executioner. I'm just the arresting officer on the warrant that you have. That, so. I'm not mad at you. But I'm really gracious, guys. So if you understand that, then why are you so angry about this? Turn your face before and separate your feet. Look, you were told you had a warrant and you didn't do anything about it. That's it. Okay. I know your hair when you use her. Do you use needles? No. So you have no needles on you right no. now? We can check his belt line really good. I said turn and face the car. I didn't tell you to move. No. Thank you. I don't know. What the other one? 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the penalty is up. Two thirty eight. You were quite alive, actually. No, I can go to my house. Not with an order of protection. There wasn't an order of protection when I was eating. Okay, I do want to say that um, the the report does say that McKenzie purchased the house in 2019. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that really quickly, but I know I just read that a second ago. And now I want to say the house. Yes. Okay. The home McKenzie purchased in 2019. So this is her house. And now the the two story on the lake that house was probably one that jen and larry owned and someone said someone had a good point um you know ryan's credit may have been not that great child support may have already been showing up on his credit like who knows who knows um why they put the home in her name um well maybe they rented it before i don't know i, I mean I, I don't know but this report and someone even looked it up um, in property records and it's also McKenzie's name. I'll double check that. But I think this and that could be that could explain why he did so much damage because well, it's her house. Um, I see, you know, link to the Fresno Digital website where I look up. Well, thank you so much. I'm actually going to do that. Look at that right now. Um, I think they also filmed in the two story brown house. And yeah, I think that's probably the one that the parents owned. Either way, this is devastating. Macy has not made a statement about this. She has an Instagram account where she'll post her story every once in a while, but she hasn't made like an actual post post. Um, since August 2022, but here lately she has been sharing Bible scriptures on her story. Um, Jen and Larry have not said anything to my knowledge. Uh, Melanie, I'm not seeing any emails from you. Let me check spam really quickly. Okay, I'm not seeing it, but maybe it's just taking a while. Um, here's the thing. Mackenzie was a teen mom herself. Ooh, that button. Mackenzie was a teen mom herself. And despite, you know, she might have knew uh, that he had addiction. But I feel like people always think like, oh, this person loves me enough. They'll change for me. I can be there for them, be their support, and they can change it. We can have this great life. It doesn't matter. And a lot of times with addiction, people have a hard time understanding, like trying to be supportive and not letting that person feel alone and enabling them, you know. Um, it is a fine line. And being so, a loved one of someone with addiction, it's very hard to navigate that. So I'm not going to throw stones at her just like, oh, she's a terrible person. She deserves this. Nobody deserve, deserves this. This was because this isn't just on Mackenzie. This is being done to her children as well. Like I said, her children can't go back to that house looking like that. So, you know, I've never been a huge fan of Mackenzie. There were times where I really didn't feel like I liked her that much um, because of how she interfered with Ryan and Macy's co-parenting situation. Um, I was not a fan of her, and I did feel like she made excuses for him a lot. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't think uh, Mackenzie actually does have her son Hudson. They have 50 50. That was like a rumor that went around like a while back that she didn't have custody and that 
her baby daddy wouldn't let her have Hudson, but she addressed that like some time ago um, to say that that's really not the case. I just feel like we're all humans. We make mistakes and, um, you know, we can trash talk her or, you know, we can be the people to be like, dang, she doesn't deserve this and maybe lend some support, you know, go to her Facebook page or her Instagram account and just let her know that she has support because um, right now she's going to be going through a really rough time. Uh, I imagine she feels like she could have saved him. I, I imagine she feels like she was the one that could have helped Ryan overcome this addiction. Nobody knows really how to deal with somebody that is a, that is an addict. I have family members that are active addicts right now. I could not even imagine if it was my spouse, how I would navigate that. Because there's this part of you, you have children with this man. You know, you've already dedicated so much of your life with this man. It's hard to give up on that. And you are scared that if you do give up, is that going to lead them to overdose? Like, what's that going to mean for them? If you just continue to try to be there for that person, could it help them get better? It, you know, there's just so many things that you think about. And what ifs? And should I do this or should I do that? Um, I don't think she enabled him nearly as bad as Jenna Larry did. Jenna Larry absolutely enabled him a thousand percent. Yeah, I just feel like we shouldn't blame her so much as him. Like, he's the one that you know, had the addiction and affected everyone. He he has, I uh, got it. He is the one that threatened Macy and Taylor. He is the one that wasn't active in Bentley's life. He is the one that brought these children into the world and isn't being the dad that he needs to be for them. And he is the one that demolished this house. She did not deserve that, in my opinion. And Claudia, I'm so sorry. Just got out of a 10 year. TV relationship. Now I can afford you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sending you prayers, Claudia. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Residential date of sale, November 15, 2019. Sale price, $309,000. Okay. Um, I'm going to look up the address because it does come with the address. I'm not going to show it. But I don't know if this is the house. I'll definitely know if this is the house. Yes, that is the house. That is absolutely the house. As you guys can see right here, let me click on some pictures. Okay, here's the house. So this, I just double checked. This is the house. Wait, hold on. Never mind. It still had the address on there. You can see. It. I want. Is there a way that I could just show the pictures? Okay, I verified that is the house. She bought it in 2019 at the end of November. It's got pictures of the outside, the inside. It's a very nice house. It is in her name. So this is her house. Wow. It's a beautiful home. You can't even tell how beautiful it is since he demolished it. I wish I could get that address off there because I would love to show you guys the pictures of how it looks not demolished. So sad what he did to it. Beautiful home. Okay, you guys. Um, so I wanted to watch. A, it's got a completely finished basement and everything. Very nice. Really nice backyard. It's really sad that he did that. So that is definitely the house that he demolished. It looks identical outside of it being completely demolished um is there a 911 call that was made by her there are but they have not come out yet um i guess someone could pull a foia to, to try to get that um i know her dad called 911 as well as one of her friends as well as she did um many people can get claimed to stay clean she probably hoped 
that would be the case for him. He did well for several years. He did. He did well for several years, even to the point where Macy was allowing B. Exactly. So, I mean, yes. Um, so, you guys, Ryan does not have siblings. He is the only child. Okay, okay you guys. So, there's the video of her seeing her house for the first time and saying, like, I found out. And I think she meant I found out the extent of his drug use after we got married. Our wedding and everything that happened with that was on TV for the world to see. Um, and she even says he's never gotten violent like this, but recently he got violent and crazy. Um, it's a very sad situation, you guys. Leave me your thoughts. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. I'm actually going to come right back to talk about Ryan's court date. He was in court today. Today. Thank you, Jay Marie. Um, I don't know if I got it. I'll I'll check. Ryan was in court today. He was sentenced to a year. Everybody was there. And um, the judge had some very specific things to say to Ryan. Um, they talk about how they gave him a chance to do right and how he basically took advantage of the courts. So the judge is, you know, finally giving him a little bit of a punishment. You guys join me back here in about 30 minutes to talk about that. On your way out, please consider subscribing to the video. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts, and I will see you guys in like 30 minutes. Bye, everyone.